Okay, this time we're going to have addition of dissimilar fractions. What are we going to do to add dissimilar fractions? Number one, determine the LCD. Number two, get equivalent fractions. Number three, add numerators. Number four, write sum over denominator. And number five, write answer in lowest term. Okay, let me show you how to add the similar fractions. According to the rule, the first thing to do is to determine the LCD. And I have shown you already how to do that. So the first thing to do is to get the LCD by giving the multiples of 10, 2, and 4. So let's have here 10, 2, then 4. Multiples of 10 are 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. The multiples of 2 are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. The multiples of 4 are 4, 8, then 12, then 16, then 20. Can you see now a common multiple or the LCD among them? Not yet. So what are we going to do? We are going to continue giving the multiples of what denominator? Yes, that is 2. So let's continue. 10 plus 2 is 12, 12 plus 2 is 14, 14 plus 2 is 16, and 16 plus 2 is 18. Eighteen plus two is twenty. So do we now have the LCD? Yes, that is twenty. So since we now have twenty as the LCD, we can put it here. Twenty. 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 We are going to find out the missing numerators. How are we going to do that? We are going to do that by doing the following. So, as you can see, I have written already their least common denominator, which is 20. So, we are going to apply this rule. We are going to divide LCD divided by denominator times numerator. So, let's substitute. Let us have this first. The LCD is 20 divided by the denominator which is 10. Times the numerator which is 9. So what will be the answer to that? 20 divided by 10 equals 2. 2 times 9 equals 18. So, I will put 18 here. How about the next? So, we will apply again LCD divided by denominator times numerator. So, what will be the answer to that? That will be 20 divided by the denominator which is 2 times the numerator which is 1. So what will be the answer to that? 
20 divided by 2 equals 10 times 1 equals 10. I will put 10 here. And then, how about the next? So, let's apply again. LCD divided by denominator times N. So, that will be 20 divided by denominator which is 4 times the numerator which is 3. So, 20 20 divided by 4 equals 5 times 3 equals 15. So, we now have these answers. We can now proceed to addition. What do you notice about these three sets of fractions? What happened to them? Yes, the similar fractions becomes similar fractions because you cannot add fractions if they are dissimilar. You have to change them into similar fractions. And remember, 1820th is the equivalent fraction of 9 tenths. 1020th is the equivalent fraction of 1 half. 1520th is the equivalent fraction of 3 fourths. So they are the same. We just change these dissimilar fractions to similar fractions so we can add them. So let us apply our knowledge of addition of similar fractions. We will just add the numerators. 18 plus 10 is how many? 28. 28 plus 15 is how many? Yes, that's correct. The answer is 43. And then, we will just copy the common denominator, which is 20. So, our answer is 43 20th. Is it already the final answer? Yes, it's not. And what do you notice about this fraction, 43 20th? Is it proper or improper? Yes, it's an improper fraction. So, what are we going to do with that? We will divide 43 by 20. So, if we divide 43 by 20, what's the answer? The answer is 1. Oh, sorry. The answer is 2 because 43 divided by 20 is 2. And then, is there a remainder? Yes. The remainder is what? 3. And the denominator is still 20. So, is it the final answer? Is 3 20th final? Yes. Why? Because it's already in its simplest form. So, 43 20th is 2 and 3 20th. And since it's the final answer, we have to put a circle on it to show that it is the final answer. Nine tenths plus one half plus three fourths equals two and three twentieth. Let me show you another. This time it's one fifth plus two third plus five six. So once again, 
since they are the similar fractions, we are going to get the least common denominator by getting the multiples of 5, 3, and 6. So I will write here 5, then 3, then 6. What are the multiples of 5? 5 plus 5 is 10. 10 plus 5 is 15. 15 plus 5 is 20. 20 plus 5 is 25. And about 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. 9 plus 3 is 12. 12 plus 3 is 15. About 6. 6 plus 6 is 12. 12 plus 6 is 18. 18 plus 6 is 24. 24 plus 6 is 30. Do we now have a common multiple? Okay, not yet. So what are we going to do? We are going to continue. So let's have 25 again. 25 plus 5 is 30. 30 plus 5 is 35. 35 plus 5 is 40. And 40 plus 5 is 45. Then 15. 15 plus 3 is 18. 18 plus 3 is 21. 21 plus 3 is 24. 24 plus 3 is 27. About 30. 30 plus 6 is 36. 36 plus 6 is 42. 42 plus 6 is 48. 48 plus 6 is 54. Now, do you see now a common multiple? Not yet. So, which do you think is the LCD that we're going to get the multiples? Yes, you're correct. That is 3. So, 27 plus 3 is 30. Do we now have a common multiple or LCD? Yes. What's the answer? Yes, the LCD is... 30. Okay, that's the LCD. That's 30. equivalent fractions of one-fifth, two-third, and five-sixths since we already have now the LCD. So that will be again LCD divided by denominator times numerator. So let's have this first, 30. 30 divided by 5 times 1. Okay, what's the answer to that? 30 divided by 5 is 6 times 1 is 6. I will write here 6. How about the next? About this one. 30 divided by 3 times 2. Divided by 3 times 2. 30 divided by 3 is 10 times 2 is 20. Okay, how about the last? 30 divided by 6 times 5. 30 divided by 6 is 5 times 5 is 25. Okay, so we now have the 
equivalent fractions of one fifth, two third, and five sixths. So these are the equivalent fractions, and they are now already similar fractions. So we can add them. Six plus twenty is twenty six. Twenty six plus twenty five is how many? Yes, fifty one. So that will be fifty one. 30. Okay, what can you say about 51 30? Yes, it's an improper fraction. So we have to divide 51 by 30. So 51 divided by 30 is how many? Yes, that's 1. And what is the remainder when you divide 51 by 30? answer is yes 21 and the common denominator is 30 so 51 30 equals 1 and 21 30 is 1 and 21 30 already final why Yes, because we can still reduce 21 30th to its lowest term. And what are we going to use? Yes, the greatest common factor. And what's the greatest common factor of 21 and 30th? What do you think? Oh, get the factors of 21. What are the factors of 21? 21 times 1. 7 times 3. How about the factors of 30? 30 times 1, 15 times 2, 10 times 3, 5 times 6. So, what is the greatest common factor among those factors? Yes, that is 3. So, we will divide 21 and 30 by Three. And what's the answer to that? So I will write here 1, which is the whole number. 21 divided by 3 is 7, while 30 divided by 3 is 10. So is it final already? Yes, because 7 tenths is already at its lowest term. So we will just put a circle into the answer to show that it's final. So, the final answer is 1 and 7 tenths. 1 fifth plus 2 thirds plus 5 six equals 1 and 7 tenths. And that's how to add dissimilar fractions. I hope you learn how to do addition of dissimilar fractions and it will be easy for you to do it in your module and activity sheets. Good luck!